Hey guys, Group Long Way Back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we're back with ReZero. Oh, oh that's that? fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just that point. <laughs> no, yeah, we're back. Uh, we had last time um, uh, trying to. I don't know. There's a huge battle. We had a wolf and we had. Fred and Veronica! Shit. Yep. I can't do it. How you do that? Would you. Would Fred and Veronica! Yeah, it's close. <laughs> We had her fighting as a giant wolf. We had, uh, was it Rom uh, fighting? And, Rom! Uh, Petra's dead. She's dead, Aaron. Her arm is Beatrice there. Beatrice saved Subaru, which could be a very bad thing. Yeah, no. If he gets yeah. stuck in like a, this is a time save moment, then things are not good. It's not good? Not good at all. Not good! They are terrible. <laughs> Best friend. Mm. Type of girl does he like? <laughs> <laughs> I that response for a second, I was like, "What are you doing, Subaru?" But then I was like, "It's just he, he's had a he, hard couple of days. He's had he, he's True. he's driving himself crazy. He's just not thinking about <laughs> that. Like these, it's not just Amelia. Like these people are real people. These relationships are real relationships, regardless of me going back and forth and in giant circles, using and himself stuff. as a game piece. Yeah." Like, what's this guy want? Like, he's just your buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's it? Sure. <laughs> like, I'm so pessimistic. And he just has to laugh it out. Yeah. Meanwhile, he also spent three days tied up in a, in a that dungeon. Yeah. Just covered in shit. With, well... He's gotta be. Right? Did he get a well, roll? Huh? He, he could have rolled. rolled. But yeah, I don't know... Shit on I don't know what good... I don't know to what end. Like, Bad some shit or shit help. shit. Just roll and explore the space. Maybe. You know, find a nail. <laughs> and blind yourself? It looked like all stone work, but yeah. yeah. I get the idea. If you could like I don't even know. Like get over those bars and somehow like get his head through and hang himself. Snap it. Yeah. The show definitely has made like this and Edge of Tomorrow is like, how could I die quickly <laughs> to, to stop all this? I need to have some contingencies in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Just you in just case. gotta die. If you don't um die. what's the name of the little butch girl? That's old lady old hey. Yuzu? Uh, Ryuzu Shima, okay. Mm -hmm. My bad. And then who's the Margrave? The Margrave, Margrave is Roswell. Roswell. Just, that's just his title, Margrave? Yes. Well, yeah. Say the Margrave, I was confused. Yeah, I mean, I've also referred to you as the Whiteley. Have you? No. I normally <laughs> refer to you as the Destroyer of Worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was just trying Bauer. to make sure I because I had Bauer messed stuff. Uh, Garfield Tinsel was his name, and then Frederica Bauman. Bauman. Bow. Bauman. 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 Okay. Bauman. Just wanted to make sure I had all that because I missed it. All right. Hmm. It's a really weird sanctuary. Like only half and half. Yeah. It has Not forty nine and fifty one. We get three. Hmm? Like, we get like, three bloods. Really. In, and, right. I guess like it just depends if they're equal. Toi? Maybe. Like three parents? Well, like, no, but, like, if your mom is human, but your dad is, like, half beast, half, half elf. elf, there's, like, three bloods in you, but You'd you're going to be... half blood human. You're going to be half human, but then you're going to be a quarter elf and a quarter beast or whatever, you know? Maybe you like, have to have one half of something. Yeah, but they said, like, your blood has to be even. Even you're stuck, not even, you're good. So if you're yeah, a quarter, they whatever. They said it's even. Equal parts. Human yeah. and everything else. It's so weird. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but what if you're four, what if you're, like, all four quarters are different? What if your mom is, like, half human, half... I'm running out. I don't know what else they got. Lizard. Yeah, I don't know. It's well, hard, if it's hard it's to know four, if it's just, like, beast men or they if they're evenly? all different. Yeah. Are they like, even? Yeah. That way you have all four. Like, this one is half, this one is half. When they get together, now you have quarters. But four. you're all four even, so you would be stuck, right? Four is an even number. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, that would still work, good. right? Yeah, you're good. Well, you're not. Bad. You're trapped. You're yeah. stuck. It's well, bad. some people want to stay here. Well, it's... I guess. I mean, it's supposed to be a sanctuary for people to, like, hide out. And is, is that only because half-elves are hunted because they might be Satella the Witch? Like, is that why it exists? No. I think it's just common bigotry. Yeah, but there has to be a reason why. why. Half, yeah, there has to be a I'm reason why it's specifically half and half. And I feel like I mean that a lot of lore is 
the easiest to explain it. I mean, like, yeah, they're 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 racist people that really dislike minorities that aren't like them, but they especially dislike interracial couples. Sure, yeah. like it's, it's even worse for them. So, look at that. It's a result of that. Maybe, but I I wonder so, why it has to be half and half. Like you would think, by you know by your reasoning, like any ratio of the two bloods being mixed would be a problem mm -hmm. for them for whoever made the sanctuary yeah. but it's only 50-50 and it's also on a witch's graveyard it's a place for people that have a foot in two camps but aren't holy in either like is this how they keep the witches or is this how Satella keeps the other witches from like respawning or like going into another like vessel or something? Can they do that? I, I mean, know. the Witch of Envy seems to be trapped here. And she's dead. Or dead. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, greed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Greed. greed. Furry eyebrows. It came Yeah, That was the greed, which. Mm. Beatrice uh, can only do what's written in the gospel. Yeah. Is what she says. I wonder which I gospel it is. Does Roswell know that? Does he approve? I don't know. We didn't get a chance to fucking ask him. He's not. Fucking Garfield. Took, took him. Took him for no reason. And no, I say no reason, but what changed? It, it, was it written in the book for her to leave the library and go with him that one time? When he jumped off the cliff? She says she can do nothing but what's written. I think what changed was that he didn't talk aloud like he did last time, saying that he was able to open things, but he had this smell on him somehow, which I don't know if it got stronger because of using Return by Death, or if it got stronger because of doing the trial and seeing the witch. I may, yeah, I imagine his what? smell has happened it, in all of them. It has to be the, well, it, it because either, he drank the tea, right? Well, that as it, it didn't happen before, though, right? They didn't take him out to a field and kill him the first time he was there. Mm -hmm. So is it because of him being closer with Elsa and having returned by death twice now that it's stronger scent on him? Or had, he, what you mean. had he always had it? Because, like he said, why is it different now? Last time... He actually said that he did the trial and offered to take the place of Amelia, and Amelia turned it down and was angry about so, it, right? Like, Whereas this time he didn't do yeah. that. He told them that in secret, and then they killed him. So was it a mixture of a scent of a witch and saying, I'll take the place of it, and thus they killed him because it was fishy and no one knew? So this is like, what, the second time So it's them controlling here, right? information then? Or the second um, time he's reappeared here. He's done this... Yeah, yeah, he's done it three times, two times after dying. So you could say that each time he does it, he increases his smell index by one, and Garfield really affected things once he hit two or three. Maybe. Like, if it's at one, then it's not going to affect things, but it can affect things the higher his smell index gets. Yeah. Like, maybe he was a little suspicious of him, a little but suspicious. now he, a he's more certain. It's like, okay, this guy definitely smells like a threat. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a sus it was a suspicion the other times that he was here, but now it's like, okay, the only other people that I've ever smelled this strong a scent was Witch's Cult. Also, he was there with Beatrice, who had the gospel, maybe something there that lingered on, that when he revived this time, that he didn't have the first, because the first time he went back, there was no one there, Yeah, and everyone died, right? Yeah. A and a Beatrice, he couldn't find her, right? So then this time when then this time when he went back, he found Beatrice. He still died, though. But was there something there that he didn't get last yeah. time that would have done it? Well, that's a big old maybe. I, mean, yeah, I don't know. The very first time he met Beatrice, she re like talked about how he smelled of the witch, right? Mm -hmm. And that wasn't directly after him coming back or using the power. Maybe the smell is stronger outside the sanctuary. I don't know. But it definitely does, because like, he used it to lure the whale. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I mean, it, it definitely does have something to do with He, use. like, turned it on so the whale would come after him, and mm -hmm. he would be bait. I mean, one of the reasons that Rem killed him is because he smelled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it killed him. Yeah, so he's definitely had he that scent before. smelled and was being suspicious. It's, mm -hmm. a, it, yeah. it's like if both things happen. Yeah. Like, did he have it before, but this time, because, because he said it to everybody, well, <laughs> everyone knows now it's too late. But because he said it in private, we can take him, put him into hiding. I don't trust him because of the witch smell. And we're not going to let anyone else know that he's on the trial. Mm -hmm. That way we can stop this from happening and hide him away. Like, maybe those are the two combinations that yeah, have done it. Garfield was more suspicious of him because of his shady dealings with the Margrave. Sure. And the first time, he didn't say about the trial, I don't believe. 
mm-hmm. and then Gar gave him his necklace and stuff on the ride out and helped him. Sure. The second time he claimed about the trial, and Gar was a lot more like on edge, and it was because of uh, Rom that he even got the necklace. Mm-hmm. And then this time, they took him out and killed him in the field. <laughs> you know, like or tried to <laughs> tried to yeah. keep him there. I thought that's what was. It. <laughs> yeah. Really didn't do that. Uh-huh. So, I don't know. There's definitely something there. Maybe they had suspicions all along, but this one has built up more suspicion that they took action. What's going on with Beatrice? I also wonder the idea of, like, the, the something about he said, uh, Gar, he said about Subaru's eyes or face or something like that reminded him of Roswell. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I wonder that if look in your Roswell eye. has, like, something Arrogance. similar with, like, any of the witches stuff, because obviously he seems to know stuff. He kind of claimed that he had some knowledge and Whatnot for all the witches cult stuff happening, and he was letting it happen. I mean, that Roswell did react. Subaru when he would said, handle it when he said this time around. Sure, uh, an episode yeah. ago. So yeah, maybe. What did Elsa say to Beatrice before she killed him? Oh, it looks like he actually cares for you, or something like that. Or like you haven't actually fallen for him, or something. It, it seemed like she knew her. Yeah. Yeah. Who's her mother? Yeah. Uh, Beatrice's? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, she always calls Puck brother, but I don't know if that's a literal thing in somehow fashion. And then She's Beat- often having tea. Whenever Sloth was killed, Beatrice sure. had a reaction to that, too. Right? What? Whenever Sloth was killed, didn't uh, Beatrice have a reaction to that? She did. Yeah. She said, what like, so, so you have fallen to... My old friend. My old friend, or something like that, yeah. When he showed the book, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where did you get this... From the witch sloth of envy, or, or cultist, uh, which cultist? Of I suppose sloth. you left me behind. Yeah, yeah that's her exact it was. So, are the the gospels like a set of instructions that fall to someone, and they're like are they open to in, interpretation? Yeah, are they like enchanted by them to where they literally like they sign a contract and sign over their will? Like, where, why like, can't she do other stuff? Yeah. Is or is it, like, just really strict where she's lived her entire life by this thing? So is like, it different for every witch, for every person? Like, yeah. is there a punishment if she does something that's not in the book? Yeah. Or is she even capable of doing something that's not in the book? Does she have free will to choose to disobey? Or are the consequences so terrible that she can't even fathom it? Or is she it? just being manipulated? And where or, are the... Yeah. Like where shining fingers. Puck did puck go. I'm glad Every time someone was some, says some shit like you can't possibly comprehend it, when we figure it out, it's pretty easy easy to comprehend. So we need to fucking just get people speaking, talking. Subaru, yeah, Subaru shuts can't. them down. It's like no, no. I'm always going to want more information. All the information I get. No, you didn't. You didn't say shit when the witch said anything you want to know. <laughs> you also don't know the conditions of that. I know. I know he the also doesn't type know. Of trial, but I wouldn't know. Hmm. But if if a purely evil being mm-hmm. came to you and said, I'll give you whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Ask me. Ask me for whatever you want. Where does evil come from? Now you owe me your soul. Well, that wasn't part of the condition. I Fuck, I'm not going to do that. sign anything, you Mr. Evil Man. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you could break your own neck. I uh, don't think you could. I suppose to ask you like they're this. like, okay, I don't think I could hit my head and kill myself, you know? But if I knew I would live after dying, would I, like, you know that thing about, like, we talked about the other day. Uh, you, you can bite your own finger off. It's the same force it would need to snap a carrot in half of your teeth. Your brain doesn't going to let you. But if I knew, I would just have my fingers again if I... If by, by dying, I would snap my own finger off, you know? Like, I knew I'm going to grow it right back. Could I then do it? Could you convince yourself? Can I remove the part of my brain? Could I actually stand there and beat my head so hard I die? If I know that's, um, that's my salvation. Like, the problem I, is, you would probably beat yourself unconscious. Yes. Before you would kill yourself. The, the best thing that you could do is hit the back of your head hard enough... To cause an aneurysm, yeah. and you slowly bleed to death while unconscious. The bleeding would be good. 
Like, I could force myself to hit as hard <laughs> the as I can. bleeding would be good. Yeah. Is that what got you, Aaron? Like, if I'm on my knees, and I'm going to do this, right? Like, there's going to be a part of my brain, that self-preservation, that doesn't want you to die and tries to stop you from doing something so dumb Don't you're want going to, to die. Your head, though. But if I know that I can kill myself, could I muster the force to do it? If you know that you can, like, come back. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, consu- like... Say that you turned into the Hulk or Superman or whatever. You got superpowers. Yeah. Like, before, you would stop yourself from doing that. Sure. But now it's not going to hurt you. Yeah. Could you do it now? I don't know. You know, there's a lot of, like... Like, you're saying Bruce Banner, as a human, knows that if he jumps off this building, he'll turn into the, the Hulk. And he'll live. Yeah. Could Bruce Banner, as a human, jump off of the building? It's like whenever I've watched, right. like, <coughs> like watching, uh, like Walking Dead and stuff, right? And, like, thinking about those kind of scenarios, I'm like, I think I could shoot someone. Yeah. But I don't know if I could just, like, stab them and kill them. Yeah. I feel like there's, there's a part of me where I'm like, that's, it's too close and too... Intimate. Yeah. Like, it just, I don't the know. The very reason why you don't want to do it is why the Joker does. Yeah. yeah it's, like, it's like the same yeah. idea. Where, like, I feel like my own, my own, my personality, my brain, my body, whatever, like, if I had to stab someone, like, I'm sure if it came to push the shove and it's like, I'm going to die or they're going to die, I could do it kind of thing. But in just, like, thinking about those kind of scenarios and stuff, I'm like, I don't think I could stab someone to, to kill them. Especially, like, if it's, like, a sneaky shit. And do a bow and arrow far away. <laughs> like, like, like I was reading an article it's it's kind of related but not like I was reading an article about the differences in, in, in different religious mythologies right like not, not offending any but like, like Jesus Christ in the garden he asked God like please don't let me go through this but then he goes through with it but he also knows one he's God and two he's going to be back in three days like he knows that this isn't going to be forever. He's got to get through this in the three days. His sacrifice versus, say, uh, in Greek mythology, who, uh, who, who uh, Prometheus. Prometheus steals fire and knows that the, the gods are going to be very angry. And then for the rest of eternity, he's going to be eaten by, his eyes eaten by crows and, or eaten his liver or something. And there's no, there's no, like, and if you get through this, you then ascend to godhood or something like that. Like, whose sacrifice is more or who is able to push through because they know it's going to be okay, you know? Sure, yeah. So it's kind of like that in a way. Like, if I know that my salvation of this torment, not just for myself, but for my friends, the person I love, if I can kill myself, could I hit my head harder than I would if I was just trying to stop the pain? I don't know. No, yeah. He had some good. stairs in there, which would <laughs> no, help, yeah. too. Stairs would help. Actually, I think the most recent thing is, like, when, in the Walking Dead things I was talking about, was, like, when someone has died, yeah, and then they're like, all right, we got to take care of them. Uh-huh. I, mean, I don't think I could just stab them in the head and just be like, there we go. I know they won't turn into a zombie. But I think if it turned into a zombie, I'd be like, shit, you know? Sure. Like, yeah. sure. I have to kill it. Yeah. But before that, I feel like there's, like, a, like yeah, a hesitation. hesitation. Like I can't a, do it. Like a what if yeah. kind of feeling. Yeah. I don't know what it is. What if, if like, right like, as the tip goes in, they're like, wait! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, similar to that call to the abyss thing. You ever, like, hold a knife, test if it's sharp, and then kind of, like, put it right here and be like, how much force do I need to have to break my skin? You ever had that feeling? I've gotten that feeling before. I've never done actually it. done it, and I had this feeling in my stomach being like, what are you fucking doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, stop, right? stop! I've had that before. I Obviously, I'm not going to do it. But I've, like, put it before, I'm like, yeah, it's pretty sharp. I bet you just a little bit of force I'd break skin. And then in here, I'm like, stop it. No. <laughs> I feel like that is stopping me from killing myself on the floor. That's the fucking time when, like, the kids are running around. They're hitting my knee. I stab myself. I'm bleeding now for sure. Like, I can't Yeah, you're right. Shit. You're right. That's no, my yeah. privilege. I mean, <laughs> With a tiny dog running yeah. around. <laughs> like, I'm dead. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love that this show, despite the protagonist seemingly being immortal... Like, him dying, I hold my breath. Yeah. Because I don't know when he's going to come back. What's, yeah. what's nice Agreed. is that they did the opposite, where it's like, it's not a matter of like, oh my god, he's going to die, please come on, escape. It's yeah. more of like, oh my god, please die, die. Yeah. You know, it's the opposite of it, because we're like, oh my like god. Like, she pulls out now, we're like, yeah! She saved his life? No! <laughs> but yeah, 
she showed up, and instead of us being like, oh shit, he's dead, he's dead, we're like, yes, please kill him, kill him. And then it's a matter of when, when's he going back? Where's he going back to? Well, no, yeah. it's too late because we've this beginning of this season. I love the fact that we're like rooting for him, and then it gets to a point. And a, fl- a switch flips in all of our yeah. brains where we're like, we can't root for him anymore. Yeah. Switch sides! <laughs> and then we're rooting for the enemy. No. It's just funny when we get to that point and he does revert back and you just hear that little, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, oh, my God. oh gosh. It's I like should... a sound effect that allows us to release tension. I need sure. that to be my ringtone. <laughs> I just like <laughs> how most shows you feel this way, that this show kind of entices you to feel the other way. It does. And I like that. It's you like do. when you have a video game and it's like, well, here are the rules of the game, but then like in a DLC yeah. character that they bring in or something like that, sure. it changes up the way that you have to play the game when that it's, character's involved, and it just changes things up and makes it different and feel new, even though it's the same thing that you've been playing, you know? It's extremely like Majora's <coughs> Mask to me, and that's one of my favorite Zelda games. But that's what it feels like, honestly. Like, learning different relationships. Like, you need to replay that, and then every time like you start a new day, it goes, ha, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, your relationships and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, like, because you, you'll learn something about somebody. Then the three days will reset. I haven't, I hadn't learned about them, but I know about it. They don't know me, but I know them. That's what it's like for this show. Uh, you're able to use information, make different decisions based on things that no longer happened. So, very similar. Yeah, I didn't play that one. It's a great one. I started it. Me too. Felt like I just kept repeating the same thing. Stop. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, it can't be this damn cave. But now I'm just flying around. Like but now that you've beaten Returnal, and you started playing Deathloop, you're like, oh, I get it now. Fair part <laughs> of that game is like Clock, clock Town's music. The first day you go out and it's like, so happy. The second day it's like, and on the third day and like as like the moon's getting closer, it's like, it's like the music gets like scarier, but the same tone. Oh, fucking brilliant. And say the way you're doing music, it didn't sound scarier, it sounded scared. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> like oh, God. the bass tone behind it, rather than just being like complimentary to the happy tone, mm-hmm. just gets like, buh, It's like when you walk into Ocarina of Time, you have like, dun, 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 and there's people all over, like, oh, shit, oh, yeah, this happy, is really cool, I love this. But when you get something else and it's like, and oh, shit, this place is spooky. I don't like it. But yeah, Majora's Mask, I feel a lot from this. Oh, that'd be coming to the Switch soon. Yeah, indeed. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to ReZero, Life in Another World. If you want to see more, subscribe so that you catch them as they come week to week. Or support us over on Patreon. And you can see early episodes right now.